Symbiotic relationships are all around us, and it's basically when two or more species directly influence each other. These relationships can be good, bad, or neutral. So let's take a look at some examples of the three types, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. Mutualism is when both of the organisms gain benefits from the symbiotic relationship. Think of a flower and a bee. When bees gather nectar from flowers, they're basically gathering nutrients. At the same time, the flowers are being pollinated by the bees when they fly from one flower to the next. So, both organisms benefit because the bees gain nutrients and the flowers have a way to reproduce. On the other hand, commensalism is when only one organism benefits from the relationship and the other is just not affected. A really common example of this is when barnacles attach themselves to the bottom of a whale. As the whale swims, the barnacles have a way of transport and of gaining access to different food sources. Meanwhile, the whale has no idea that the barnacles are on its underside. The last type of symbiosis is parasitism, the most annoying kind. The one thing that really comes to mind when I hear parasitism is a tapeworm, since it just attaches itself right in your intestine and eats up your food, gaining your nutrients. So rude. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment any questions that you have. Bye!